As we count down to the Oscars, a new study is revealing a tale of two Hollywoods. Finding diversity has improved on screen, but behind the scenes, it's a different story. Chris Connolly is back now with more. Chris, good morning. Good morning to you again, Tom. You know, each year the Oscars seems to occasion some self-reflection for Hollywood and its stated efforts to make filmmaking more inclusive. To that end, now there's new data and new dispatches from the front. Ready? Thursday, a UCLA survey reported on by Variety, stating that while numbers are up on set for women and people of color who are actors, there's been less progress in the executive suites and director's chairs. You know that many people were hoping you would get a Best Director nomination. It's very nice. I am just so happy that people are seeing the movie and responding to the movie, and I'm just gonna get that next at bat. Gonna make another one, and then make another one after that. <laughs> Greta Gerwig has spent three decades inspired by Little Women's Joe March, long a true north for so many. She was always the person I wanted to be. She's completely ambitious, and she states it. It's thought that representation can help foster the big dreams of a new generation. It's no surprise that Frozen 2 is about teaching the girls to listen to their gut and find their purpose and path in the world while also figuring out how to stay connected. What has the recognition of the Academy meant to you? You think about it when you start your career and you think that would be amazing to, to go through, uh, to experience, and it would be a dream come true if it ever happens. And to be here today knowing that it has is kind of surreal and wonderful. The only person of color to receive an acting nomination this year is Harriet Cynthia Erivo. Stand up, take my people with me. And for songwriter Diane Warren. I'm standing with you. Up this year for I'm Standing With You from the film Breakthrough. It's an honor just to be nominated 11 times. I am now officially the most nominated woman in Oscar history to never have won. Isn't that crazy? And it's five decades of not winning. <laughs> and everybody's saying, break, break, and break a leg, break a leg. And I broke my hand. Like, so I'm off to a really good start. Now remember, you're still likely to see a woman accepting a directing Oscar because four of the five documentaries nominated this year have women directing or co-directing. So, progress. Tom? That's right, but still a lot of work to be done. All right, Chris, thanks so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.